Hello everyone. I welcome all of you to this particular initiative of Learning Sage. I am really overwhelmed by the amazing response to this particular initiative and I must thank all of you and wish you all a very happy learning experiences. My aim is to initiate all of you to the world of using Sage Math for doing mathematics, for learning mathematics and for teaching mathematics. I have been thinking of this kind of initiative ever since the unfortunate lockdown started in March this year, but I was not sure how to go about it. I was not sure what will be the response. So just one fine day, I made an announcement and sent email to few people and put up in this uh, my Facebook account. But to my surprise, soon after the announcement, within few hours, the registration crossed 500 and then 1000 and the final count is about 1600. If you must have noticed in the announcement, I had said that we will conduct this program through Microsoft Teams, which has limit of 200 participants. In fact, I was thinking at most 150 to 200 may be uh, willing to join this course, but since the registration is so huge, I did not want to disappoint so many people who are willing to learn Sage. Therefore, I had to look for other alternatives. Many people suggested me to use YouTube, but I had never used it. So I was not sure how to go about it. I had no idea actually. But then I had to learn some of these things. And of course, I was helped by several people. And one of them is Professor Chetan Shirore from ATHM College Nashik. He is the one who has designed an app for this particular event. And I must thank him for this. So, uh, let me let me also tell you that initially as we were planning to do this event uh, using microsoft team we uh, there there is an option of having live discussions face to face discussion but now with so many participants that may not be feasible However, whatever doubts, queries you have, you may send it. We will try to create some forum in which you can send your queries and we will try to take care of those queries as much as possible from my side. So let us uh, look at what is says all about. Why so many of you have registered for this course? I'm sure it is not just because you are sitting idle at home. All of you are willing to learn CS math. You are willing to invest six weeks of your time for this course. So there must be some reason. So let us see what is CS math. CS math is a free and open source mathematical software. I love all of you understand what is meaning of free and what is meaning of open source. Open source means you can not only use this software freely, but you can see the source code and not just that you can modify the source code and also share the modified version with your friends, but not for commercial purpose. CS math in fact is a sophisticated computer algebra system, CAS. 
what do i mean by a cas so by cas we mean it's a mathematical software which can do the following things one it can do numerical computations from very basic to advanced one it can do symbolic manipulations and man, uh, computations in mathematics all the time we play with symbols so says math is very good at those manipulations you can do graphing of two dimensional and three dimensional objects in various forms and the last thing it has its own programming language where in case some something which you want to do and if it is not already available you can write your own program to suit your needs so these are the four things that one can do in any computer algebra system and sage is one such i'm sure most of you must have heard about mathematica matlab maple magma mathcad and few others these are also computer algebra systems but all of these are commercial softwares you need to pay thousands of rupees and so sometimes lakhs of rupees in order to buy them and use them and not only that even to get updates you need to pay sometimes equal amount of money says on the other hand is free and open source so not only you can use it freely but you can also see the source code of all the programs that you are using the sage was initially developed by professor william stein who was professor at university of washington the first version of sage was released in 2005 at harvard university and currently the sage has version 9.0 what was his aim of creating this software his main aim was to create viable free open source alternative to magma maple mathematica matlab etc so how far he has succeeded in his mission that you can decide after using this software and maybe comparing with other softwares you can look look at uh, there is a youtube video by william stein on origin of cs math which he gave about i think uh, 2018 i'm not very sure about the dates but you can look at into the youtube and it is available where he talks about what was his drive to create this software in fact he also talks about one of the uh, driving force or one of the, um, the key uh, uh, idea that uh, he should start something like this he should develop something free software which is as capable as powerful as some of the existing one was from the talk by professor uh uh what was his name uh, i think manjul vargava sorry i uh, manjul vargava and he gave talk on uh, quadratic forms and he uh, said that many things that he wanted to compute uh, cannot be done in the existing software and since he doesn't have access to the source code he is really handicapped so that also motivated uh, william stein to look for something which is free and open source when he started actually developing this software at that time many free and open source software such as maxima pari singular cash etc were already available and these softwares were written in various programming languages like c c++ lisp fortran python etc so rather than in reinventing the wheel that is creating everything afresh he thought of creating a platform which can integrate many of these nicely developed software 
and that is how he created sage math so unlike most other computer algebra system which i mentioned like mathematica matlab maple etc sage does not have its own programming language i mean dedicated programming language the mainstream programming language of sage is python and cyton i'm sure all of you know python is a very nice very easy to learn and very very popular programming language it is becoming extremely popular among scientific community among web developers among uh, system developer and mostly among data scientist in fact many universities institutes are shifting their programming courses from c c++ java etc to python as, as i mentioned sage is a platform from which you can use many softwares and in fact sage uses many of these free and open source software in the background you can uh, look at sage uh, this uh, component of sage from its website you just uh, look at sagemath.org link hyphen components html you will see a list of softwares that is that are used uh, in sage and there are about 84 uh, 85 of them so the question is what can we do in sage math what are the possibilities so one can use sage math as i said as an advanced scientific calculator but in case you have to use sage math only for uh, doing numerical advanced numerical computations you can you can maybe just use scientific calculator so you, you don't need computer algebra system for that so it can also do very complex and heavy duty numerical computations and it uses some of the free libraries like numpy scipy gsl atlas etc for scientific for numerical computations you can use sage for visualization and creating animations as i said two dimensional and three dimensional objects can be very easily plotted or created in sage math sage math is very good in symbolic manipulations arising in various branches of mathematics such as calculus linear algebra abstract algebra number theory graph theory combinatorics differential equations differential geometry etc so in in short most of the topics which generally we do in mathematics you can explore you can use sage for that writing programs in sage is very easy in case you have little bit of knowledge of python programming it will be really very very handy but actually in order to learn sage you don't require python programming language knowledge in fact when i started using sage math i didn't know any python sage has very nice interface with latex many of you might be knowing latex is a scientific type setting document Uh, software where i mean in case uh, uh, you want to type any mathematics or scientific papers etc latex is these days the default one you can in generate any latex code of any object in sage so whatever objects you have whatever functions you have in in sage math you can get a latex code of uh, this and you can insert in your latex document not only that there is a package called sage tech using that sage tech package you can call sage commands or syntax from latex document itself i will show you uh, at some point during uh, these lectures sage worksheet can be made interactive class notes where you can type results theorems any formula expressions you can even type proofs you can do the calculations graphing animations and what not so sage uh, is sage as a teaching tool can bring a lot of pedagogical benefits sage can be used 
to solve research problems. In fact, many people are using SAGE for solving their problems that arises in their research. SAGE math is very nice. So in conclusion, let me, let me say this, that SAGE math is a very nice mathematical tool which can help in learning mathematics, teaching mathematics, and doing mathematics. And I hope all of you will enjoy learning SAGE with me. So let me at the end make an appeal. I hope I am training future trainers. So I am expecting that many of you who will learn SAGE with me during these six weeks would take up this further and in future you will train many people. You can also help in contributing creating innovative teaching modules using math, says math. In fact, this is one thing which I uh, would love to do that. Uh, we would like to create several innovative teaching modules which can help teachers. Since uh, there are so many people attending this lecture, it will not be feasible to take care of every doubts in the forum. So I appeal some of you who have already used says can help me and solve doubts as far as possible. So in the next video you will see how to install says and uh, I, I expect that after watching that video, you will be able to install SAGE in your system or you can at least register online uh, on CoCalc and be ready uh, uh, when we start the formal session. So the first live session on SAGE math will be tomorrow, that is May 20, 2020 at 3.30 p.m. on YouTube and uh, the live streaming link of YouTube tube will be shared with uh, all of you who have registered, who have signed in to this uh, app. So thank you very much and I hope all of you will enjoy learning SAGE with me. Thanks a lot.